Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. And today I would like to talk to you about one of the What's New features in AutoCAD Civil 3D, Project Organization Tools for Autodesk Vault Professional 2016. We've had customers ask for flexibility on where project data is stored in Autodesk Vault Professional. Users can now organize your project objects within subfolders. These subfolders are displayed in Prospector if they contain a project object. So let me give you an example. If I go over here in my tool space, I can look here at my vault projects. I have an example subdivision project that I've got two different phases of subdivisions. So what I want to do is I want to break up my alignments for my roads, and I want to have phase one alignments and phase two alignments so that I can keep them separate. Okay, so I'm going to check out my phase one drawing. And I'm going to create an alignment for a road. And I'm just going to call it Road A. So I'll go up and I'll select alignment from objects. And let's call it Road A Phase 1. That way we can, we can tell what's going on here. So I'm going to leave everything else pretty much default. And hit OK. Now, again, this is Phase 1. So I'm going to hit Save. And I'm going to go ahead and check this into the vault. So I'll check it in. So once it's checked in, then I'll need to go ahead and open up the Vault Explorer. So I'm going to select the Vault Explorer. I'm going to create a folder underneath my centerline alignments that's called Phase 1 and move that alignment into it. So we didn't have this ability before, but again, this is, this is, uh, this is one of the new features in Vault Professional 2016. So I'm going to grab my example subdivision project. And I'll drill down to where I can see my alignments, and I'm going to select center line alignments. You can see that Road A Phase 1 alignment. So I'm simply going to right-click and hit New Folder, and I'm going to go ahead and call this Phase 1. You can name this whatever you would like. Call it Phase 1. Let's go ahead and create a Phase 2. That way we already have it. And I'm going to grab, out of that center line alignments folder, I'm going to grab my phase one alignment that I built for road A and drop it into phase one. All right. So now if I go back to center line alignments, all I see here in the Vault Explorer is just this phase one and phase two folder. So I'm going to go ahead and go back over here to Civil 3D and you can see that that's, now, that's not really how it's set up and shown here under projects for the Vault in the Prospector tab. So what I need to do is I need to refresh my project. So if I grab my project, I select my project, and I go up and I hit refresh. Then now you can see under centerline alignments, I have a phase one folder. Now, I don't have a phase two folder because until I put something in the folder, it won't recognize it as being there. So you can see I've got my alignment. So let's, let's do this. Let's add one more alignment, but let's do this in phase two. So I'm going to check out my phase two portion of my subdivision. And let's create an alignment here on this road. Let's just call it road, well, let's call it road A phase two. Again, we'll hold most of the defaults here. And it generates my alignment. I'll go ahead and check it into the vault. Hit next and go ahead and select my alignment. Notice that it is the phase two alignment. It will be added and it adds it to my project. So you can see right now under centerline alignments, I've got a phase one folder in my phase one alignment. And then I've just got a phase, uh, a phase two alignment, but it's not in a folder. It's not separated out. So let's jump back over to our Vault Explorer and I'm going to grab, or I'm going to actually go up and refresh. And you'll see that it populates here underneath centerline alignments. I'll select it, drop it into phase two. And now it's separated out into my phase folders for my alignments. I'm going to go ahead and jump back to Civil 3D. And we simply select our project, hit our refresh button, and now our directory tree shows up as it should. We can see phase one, road A phase one, phase two, road A phase two. Now this can be done for not only alignments, but it can be done for surfaces, pipe networks, pressure networks, so on and so forth, what you, whatever project data you can add into the vault from Civil 3D. It's a great way to keep things separated um, per project or per phase or 
However, it just gives you a, a better way of uh, separating your project data out. Now, something else that's a new feature inside of Autodesk Vault Professional 2016 and the interaction between it and Civil 3D is the fact that you can now create references to objects from any project. Okay, so I actually have a phase two here, so I'm going to leave my uh, my my current project set to my example subdivision vault. I'm going to open or actually check out that phase two drawing again. All right. And then you'll see that I don't have I don't have any uh, any topo or anything shown on my phase two because this they haven't shot it yet or they may not be going back out to shoot it because we we might have gotten it in phase one. So I have a totally separate project that's that's inside of my vault here. It's called sample project for reference. So this project itself houses my surface. I can see it right here if I drill down. And under projects, I can drill down in the vault and see I've got my surface. Now I can see here that my active my active uh, project is highlighted. Okay, so my example subdivision where I check this file out from that is the project that's active. This project I'm going to pull the surface from is not active, so I can simply select the surface from my other project or the phase one project if you would, and right click and select create reference. And I'll just leave it EG and I'll give it a different style, one foot, five foot background, hit OK. And I have just referenced this overall surface from another vault project. Now, again, you're able to do this with alignments, profiles, pressure networks, anything that you can check into the vault from Civil 3D. You can not only separate things out by folder uh, to organize better, but you can actually readily access any any uh, vault project data from any other project inside of the vault. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and have a great day.